Thank you, Max. My name is Chandra Brigman. I am president and CEO of the Virginia Biotechnology Research Partnership Authority. Our trade name is Activation Capital. Activation Capital was the lead entity representing 14 public and private entities work, working to build an advanced pharmaceutical manufacturing and research cluster here in Central Virginia and building upon existing manufacturing, life sciences, technology, and talent assets. Over a year ago, we set up a, a cluster accelerator to fast track the development of an ecosystem in response to the acute need to reshore uh, essential medicines here in the United States. So our coalition is now called the Alliance for Building Better Medicines. I'm gonna hand the presentation over to my colleague, Jeff Gallagher, who is the executive director of the Alliance. Jeff. Thanks, Sandra. First slide. After decades of offshoring in order to slash costs and evade environmental regulations, the U.S. supply chain is broken, and we are just waking up to the harsh unintended consequences. Over 80% of essential medicines that we use are sourced outside for some categories like antivirals or antibacteria. It's almost 100%. Shortages are chronic, supply spikes in quality is unreliable, regulations difficult, the nation's security is at risk. And as we all know, prices are too high for many patients and payers causing barriers to access, adversely impacting health and outcomes, draining the public fisc and making an economic drag. Shonner. Innovations in technology and business models uh, uh, that are alive in this region are solving the problem. The innovations are focused on manufacturing, not timely, time consuming and risky drug discovery, and on small manufacturing, not biopharmaceuticals. Small molecules make up approximately 90% of the medicines taken in the world, two thirds of new drug approvals, most medicines on the essential medicine list. And the stunning new drug discoveries like the anti-COVID viral, anti-viral COVIDs of Pfizer and Merck. Intensification, which is at the heart of the innovation, reduces the number of steps and makes a, a higher yield, more efficient, less waste, faster, cheaper, and greener. The simplification also enables continuous process manufacturing techniques to be brought to pharmaceuticals for the first time. And reimagining the supply chain is changing the landscape of what is not only feasible, but realistic in the United States. Our vision then is a regional super hub for end-to-end -end essential medicine manufacturing in Richmond, Petersburg, separated by 25 miles on I-95. This will create a secure, resilient domestic supply of medicines, reduce the cost of quality medicines across the country, slash the environmental burden, create high wage, high tech job growth in historically distressed and disadvantaged communities, which line our region, and ensure secure access to affordable quality medicines around the world. This is well underway. The Medicines for All Institute of the VCU College of Engineering Funded by, uh, founded by uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation funding, works with global public health philanthropies and agencies for a decade, slashing the cost and complexity of manufacturing global public health medicines. The innovative manufacturers, Flowcorp, Ampac, and Civica RX, are collaborating on a historic one-third to two-thirds billion dollar contract with BARDA to create a national strategic reserve of API, um, active pharmaceutical ingredients, for the essential medicines of the nation here in Petersburg, build continuous flow manufacturing capacity for API and create the nation's domestic end-to-end -end manufacturing capacity uh, for essential medicines. As Chandra mentioned, after a two year strategic process and building up of a regional coalition, which is not permanent, has a governance agency and is funded by the state and private sector, we identified a number of priorities that we're building here in the region to help the firms and the research institutions succeed. We've asked BBBRC for the help in that, and, uh, but we'll pursue it nonetheless. So finally, how can you help to build this extraordinary historic national resource? Well, Chandra and I will help you work with our leading companies to move beyond their starting use cases and develop additional markets beyond hospital and healthcare systems and the nation's strategic API reserve to add additional medicines, including, including novel medicines and low volume medicines, to work with researchers and manufacturers to optimize the potential for green impact across the entire industry, to adapt and qualify the instrumentation, controls, products and services that are necessary to unleash the full potential 
of advanced manufacturing and pharmaceuticals, to work with our alliance to assure equitable social impact of the new industry in this community and around the nation and provide thought leadership to the nation for the development of this important national resource. And finally, to extend the technology in appropriate ways to the rest of the world. We would be delighted to have you join us and we look forward to your questions.